meeting is being held in accordance with Chapter 470 of the Acts of 1973 as amended. This evening, our alternate member, Paula Morrison, will be seated as a voting member in place of absentee member Jane Hildebrand. There is just one application for a certificate of appropriate this evening, and that's the only one we'll be hearing. Um, and for our uh, applicant, in case I don't recognize you, so no. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that uh, our procedures are fairly oh. simple and informal. You think that they would. And when we call the item, you'll come up to this table and make a presentation on, on uh, what you want done. Any abutter, there are none, or interested party will be given the opportunity to ask questions, review plans, or make comments after you have finished making your presentation. I'll remind you that our committee's main purpose is to review items for appropriateness and setting, and it will be your responsibility to comply with the other town boards, um, health zoning sign inspector, particularly in your case, and the uh, approved paperwork can be picked up at the old Kings Highway office once it's been recorded with the town clerk. So that would be available Wednesday afternoon. Also, there is a 10 calendar day appeal period once the decision is filed with the town clerk. So any person aggrieved by our decision tonight can appeal to the regional commission of the Old Kings Highway. And our office administrator would be happy to answer any questions you have in that regard. So we thank you in advance for your cooperation. And we begin with the item which is uh, replacing a sign that the, uh, it had been Rite Aid store mm -hmm. at 918 Route 6A, which will be changing to the Walgreens sign. And Heather Dudko yes, yeah. is here to represent National Sign Corporation and the James Peterson Trust. Hey. Good. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Um, as you may know, most of the Rite Aid um, facilities are closing. They've been bought by Walgreens, so this is a, a name change um, for the store. And they'd simply like to remove the existing Rite Aid sign and replace it at the same size, the same dimensions, and in the same location as the existing sign. The existing sign is a painted plywood with a raised lettering that says Rite Aid. They'd like to replace it with the painted plywood but vinyl graphics, not a raised lettering. So it will be a vinyl applied graphic to the painted plywood. Um, exist, there's an existing light bar above it that will remain, and nothing else will change on site. So what you mean by graphics is just the the actual writing Walgreens. Correct. Is, uh, that's a vinyl? That's a vinyl, yes. Hopefully it's not too shiny. It won't be too shiny. It'll be a flat. And the rest of the sign would be flat, right? Yep. Presently, there's some other signage above the Rite Aid sign. Oh, there's a banner there now, I think. Yeah. I think it says open, the pharmacy open while remodeling. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. So that would be removed. That would be going down. Yes. Any other questions or comments? Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> I had a nice ride down. It was a very nice day to be out. <laughs> Good. We could drag it out if you like. No, no I'm ready to go home now. <laughs> I saw a lot of convertibles and some boats out. It was a very nice day. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. We have to All sign right, Thank you. Oh, you can see the sign. Oh, sure. Yep. You have Thanks. to sign this. Well, I'll just wait for 10 days 
uh, top line. Oh, he okay. owns all of these. <laughs> yeah, there's a note to that effect on the next page. Yeah. It says somebody owns 49. And, uh, oh, these. these. Oh, yeah. have the minutes for February 10th, which had been out on the internet. I hope everyone had a chance to look at it. It looked fine to me. I don't know. Any other comments? Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You. Good. Now, the um, other business here has to do with someone that wants to chop three trees down on the ancient way, which is Thatcher Shore Road. And... Scenic Road. It's a scenic road, yeah. And this um, application needs to be reviewed by several parties and um, Hawkins Highway Committee is one of them. So you have a package there which contains a letter from the parties <coughs> Mr. and Mrs. George at 17 Thatcher Shore Road and the idea is to open up the view so they could see Cape Cod Bay better. Um, oh, Richard, he wants you closer to the mic. Closer to the mic because can't hear you. Closer. Thank you. Right on close. And uh, this, the trees are on the property across the street from the George's property. <clears throat> we have occasionally had um, taken trees down along Thatcher Shore Road, but typically it was because the trees were diseased and they were quite large trees and if they came down they would have uh, damaged anyone driving by and um, and so they they did get approved um, that was a, a question of public safety public safety and having a view of the of the bay is um, two different things. So I don't know what everyone else feels about this. Uh, um, could you explain the public safety aspect? I didn't get that. There was a house f 
further down, almost to the other, the uh, eastern end of Thatcher Shore Road, which came before us, and the tree was, you know, about two feet in diameter, and um, and was diseased, and some branches had already fallen off of it, oh. and it was very close to the road on top of that. Oh. So. Um, that got approved to be taken. Okay, so down. I'm just, you're saying that that is a point in favor of the application. This oh, okay. ha this one, I don't see any reason to take this these down. Because there's no public safety no. issue no. with these well, trees. Well, okay, we don't deal with public safety issues. We deal with aesthetics. Right. I think that I shall never see a <laughs> woman well, well, lovely as a tree. <laughs> what else do we deal with? Yep. Um, well, there's I, a lot of, there's a movement uh, in the neighborhood, because I live in that neighborhood, right. to reestablish the vistas along Thatcher Shore Road. Um, and it seems to be gathering some momentum. And in my opinion, if this is the first baby step in that direction, it's a good step. Uh, when the land, just a little history lesson for anyone who's not familiar, mm -hmm. when the land was given to the town by the uh, Thatcher family, David Thatcher in particular, it was done according to family tradition. I don't know if there's an actual record of this, but it was done with the understanding that the historic vistas would be maintained. And uh, that understanding has been conveniently forgotten. So. Um, as far as I'm concerned, three less trees is three steps in the right direction for restoring the vistas <laughs> along Thatcher Shore Road. Well, a historic vista or ocean view vista? You just said the historic vistas vista. along overlooking Cape Cod Bay. Right. That's is there any, anything in the deeds or anything? Well, I don't, as that? I say, I don't know if there's an, you know, these things we're talking about a hundred years ago. Uh, more, actually. I'm sure it was likely done with a handshake. I don't know. I'd I've have always to. understood that that's what the road was designated as, uh, why it was donated. Yeah. And, but I've, I've never seen anything in writing about it either. Might not be. Um, I've, st I've spoken to people who remember the historic vistas. It's not, we lost those, those vistas within our lifetime. It's not. Uh, something that happened many decades ago. So, just yeah, a point to, of interest. We lost them to what? To shrubbery? Uh, invasive species, almost yeah. entirely invasive. Okay. The, so, um, yeah, this is these these trees aren't invasive species. I thought of, I thought of that myself, but yeah. the, they're a oh, hybrid. A black locust is a hybrid of. Uh, Red and white, I, white, white. They hybridize. Yeah. They look like the the leaves look like a, still an oak tree though. It looks more like a red oak wood. But the leaves look like white oak. Mm-hmm. Um. So, I I think it's in the, I th I think the, one board that I see on here that has would have the most say would be the conservation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't think it's on conservation though. I think it's I think it abuts I think it's in the road what do, what do you call the the road? Right away. Right away? Yeah, I think it's I think that was I went down and looked at it. I think that was in that. I believe it's in the wetland it's in the wetland buffer, I believe it says here. Buffer, right. Buffer. That's the word. Yeah. So Usually scenic roads, you think in terms of them having a canopy, you know, like Route 6A. Right. And and we treasure that. See, that's an argument, too, that I've... In the same uh, way. <laughs> it's like well, one of there's these. No, there's no canopy along Thatcher Shore Road. There would be. If <laughs> it's going to take a <laughs> long time for there to be a canopy along <laughs> yeah. Thatcher Shore Road. There are sections Did where there are a lot of tall trees on both sides of the road. Yeah. And just yeah. to the... Looking north, just to the right... <coughs> Um, there's a house in the woods, and uh, I'm sure they don't have a vista because it's no. practically surrounded by trees that are much taller than these. Yeah. Well. May I speak? Yeah. yeah. Certainly. Into the mic. 
please, thank you. I think the whole idea of 6A and Thatcher Shore Drive is to maintain the beauty of this area. Mm. And I, for my own purposes, to drive down there and see overgrown brush that obscures a beautiful vista of the uh, ocean or the inlet of the ocean. I think that's a travesty. Mm -hmm. I think shore shorelines that have a beautiful vista like that, that's what you're trying to preserve, not an overgrown condition caused by, um, what's the word, you, invasive, mm -hmm. invasive trees. These are invasive. These, these are these three, three, three are not. trees. But um, I, I just Frag think. Bites is invasive. What, uh, the, the briars. The uh, briars that grow the privet, there. The Oxid privet's invasive. Every, Oxidon Oxidon virtually everything in there is invasive. Traditionally, have there been any efforts to control the growth more naturally rather than um, waiting until the trees are. It's, it's, big? it's gaining momentum. Right. But it's in its incipient stages because mm -hmm. conservation, I talked to Kelly Grant about this one-on-one -on -one, mm -hmm. and she is coming around to the point of view that there's I mean there may be a few mature trees these are not particularly mature trees I mean they're I think the biggest one they're is. calling them juvenile trees yeah mm -hmm. well, so this picture has some they're over the tops of the big. light poles you know this is sticking up a long yeah. way I've waited they, I wish they, okay so I see. Okay, so what we're what, what they're asking us to do is this is what we run into on the, in the Waterways Commission. Well, uh, there's there's a public way, and someone wants to build a dock in 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 the in the in a Bass River, for instance, and that's owned by the public. It's a, be below the mean low water line, uh, below the littoral district. So. What they're asking us to do is to, uh, they're going to take this away from the public and use it for private means. Well, and it See doesn't benefit saying? just, I mean, I, I think it's unfortunate that they, that the letter is expressed in a way that makes it sound like it only benefits the Georges. I mean, it benefits everybody who drives along Thatcher Shore Road to have uh, the vistas restored. Yeah, so. but, the, but these, uh, yeah, the other briars in particular, but the trees, all we're looking at is the back, the canopy, they're, they're worried about the canopy of the tree because that's what they have to look through. There's the canopy growing up is, is, is right in their view. So I wish they'd taken a picture from their house, from inside their house. Well, this, this picture. That's from their lawn, I believe. Well, uh, maybe, but you get about the same picture. The house is way up high. It's, it's a long way back. It, but it's high too. The land yeah, go, uh, climbing uh, there, and the vista would be very similar to this. Yeah, and and that's what's bothering them. I think they took this picture indicating what's going on with the vista, and th those three trees are getting pretty tall. Yeah, no, they're There's over the others. tops of the telephone. There are uh, some others to the left, and then over to the right, there are a lot more trees. They, were, they had marked a couple more. Um, to the east, but those they didn't suggest they should be taken out. <clears throat> These the pictures they don't look that fat, but on the letter it said they were 12 inches in diameter. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a uh, picture with the tape measure girth. towards the back of the packet too. These look like more like 12 inches in girth. Yeah, know. I agree. I, mm -hmm. 12 inches is, they don't look that big to me. Mm -hmm. 12 so. inches is this, this is 8 and a half by 11 paper. It's yeah, they don't look that big to me. Oh. Any of them. Oh. At breast height. Yeah. Right. Well, anyway, this is a measurement here of seven feet. What is that reflective of? What is that tape measure that reads seven feet? That's the distance uh, from the road. From the on, the road on the road, I think. So, yeah. If it's seven feet from the roadway, isn't the berm, isn't that five feet? Uh, I think it's more like ten. Oh, it is? Yeah, the total road is about 40 feet, I think. 20 for the oh. pavement, 10 on each side. Plus, it's, uh, it's kind of a toss-up between having trees and 
the vista to me. Well, part of the benefit of the These trees... These aren't particularly attractive trees, though. Oh, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, they could have been if they had been pruned properly when they were younger. Yeah. Well... How about pruning? Ten, ten years from now, they may look a lot better. How, I mean, they're multi-trunk trees. Suppose they were to... Suppose, um, right. Uh, who would... Clean them up. Yeah, I don't know. Who, yeah, if, if you left one trunk... We would greatly reduce the size of the canopy, but you'd have a larger tree in the future. Right. I've seen, I've, I've pruned a lot of trees mm. in my time, and you can turn a tree that looks like this into a really attractive tree yeah. with proper pruning. Well, so how, if, they, if so they don't do something about the vines crawling down and yeah, strangling the tree, then the they're going to die anyway. Mm -hmm. So, um, who, so that's up to who? Uh, conservation, I guess. I, I, I'm not sure why we're even discussing this, frankly, but since well, we are discussing it. Well, if you read the Scenic Highway yeah. bylaw, it's right. required that yes. all of these departments yeah. okay. Everyone. Get, be yeah. given this information. Everyone in town. To, I've there's been to no those meetings a couple of times. Are we going to? Are we voting on this? No, tonight? there's no vote required. This is just a discussion. I wanted to put it on here so you guys can okay. discuss it, and um, because I needed to to present it mm -hmm. to all of you. Mm -hmm. And um, there is a public hearing March 4th at 5.30. So um, obviously as residents, what you, you, yeah. you can go and speak. The point um, about the, vans, the vines strangling the trees, I see that all along oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wharf Lane, mm -hmm. especially past Thatcher Shore Road as you start moving down toward Water Street. There are a lot of trees that are dying from the vines. If they wait 10 years, the trees will be gone from yeah. the vines because the vines are taking them down. Yeah, but in the meantime, the preservation of the historic view, I think, really is a valid yeah. uh, consideration. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And that, like Bob said, maybe this would be the start of a, yeah. a precedent. Yeah, the, uh, well, I think that's one of the concerns is that this could set precedent for it to happen all over the place. So I think that all over oh. what place? Well, I don't know. On scenic <laughs> yeah, roads. On the, on well, no, I think I think I think we can control that. Talk about Thatcher Shore Road, yeah. and mm -hmm. that's all we're talking about. To me, it doesn't <laughs> establish a precedent for for other areas. Oh, they're individually. Yeah, you, you, yeah. you can't. Uh, I'm not buying the precedent argument. I think your thing about pruning them, if you have the right to prune them, then that sort of gives you Who the right Who has to that tree. right? Yeah, yeah. The, the tree the, the tree guy. Tree warden. Do we have one? Do we have a tree guy? Yep. It says the at the top of the Yarmouth mm -hmm. Tree Warden. Yep. yep. We actually we have one? I thought we didn't have one for a while. Though. I don't know. Hmm. I believe he's, if I'm not mistaken, he's split between a couple of towns. Oh. But, the, yep, at this planning board meeting, it's the planning board, the tree warden, and I believe, I don't know if the Conservation Commission will be there, but this has to get approved by conservation, so I'm sure it will end up on one of their agendas. So they have to approve it. It so says right here that site. it will, that the proposal is to remove all three trees, flush cut the stumps as close to the ground as possible, and leave the root systems in place. Right. The trees are located within a wetland resource buffer and will also require approval. Oh, right. Yeah, resource from buffer. conservation. It's the buffer. Yeah. So they're, really, they're looking for, and they're saying that lack of response by any of these departments, it says here, is deemed as lack of opposition to the proposal. Right. Uh, so. Lack of responses. So is, yeah. is each group or department supposed to come up with a recommendation? Nope, we're just giving you the opportunity to. If you all felt like, you know, uh, collectively to oppose it, that would be, I that could just do one, one memo and you could have it done. Right, but there's mixed emotion here, uh, so yeah, no, there's nothing, no. I'm of mixed emotions myself. You can, you can go to this hearing, just don't speak as an Old Kings Highway Committee member, speak as a resident. Right. Also, they want uh, written comments or recommendations. Mm -hmm. Prior to the meeting, mm -hmm. right? But they do it. They do suggest if you're going to have written comments as from as a committee, to have it like one letter from the committee. But you can do oh, individual okay. comments. Yeah, I definitely would suggest that. Um, I think you can email. Sorry, the public hearing, please. I think you can email her as well. Did I give you the email in? in Kathy Williams? Yeah, I think 
She does want written comments, but I believe she'll accept them as email. Um, she has to. Yeah, I think that might be in the e in, well, not in the e but I think that might be in the email I sent to you. No, emails are same as a letter. I believe. No. <laughs> okay. It depends how they solicit it, and. Um, I'm pretty sure she said if, uh, by email. I, I don't. I don't have a copy oh, okay. of my email that I sent to you guys, but yeah. So. So just be sure you get your comments into her before the March fourth, so that she's she's got them. Did she give us a deadline? Prior to the public hearing, yeah, which is on the fourth, so. So when we do this, we should do it as citizens and not as members of this committee. Right. Okay. Unless you collectively as a committee um, have oh. some comments, then right. we can do it collectively. Um, I think we got a split. I think that's, yeah, so uh, you don't no, have to. Uh, and I did try to research, like, some past applications. That these are so few and far between. The only one I could find. Um, there was one on 6A right near the Barnstable town line. The people couldn't see out of their driveway getting mm. onto uh, 6A. The, only one the that ones that I found are were either the trees were going to be a hazard if, yeah. if they were to fall because they were leaning and there was, they might not be um, diseased, but they, the way they were leaning and they had like a hole at the bottom, I forget what they called that yeah. hole. So a good storm could it knock it over. So it, it, they agreed to let The woman that go. was killed by the chestnut tree. Say what? The woman was driving down Road 6A oh, and the chestnut yeah. tree landed on her yeah. car. Mm. Yeah, that had, that had occurred like the year before, the previous one that I saw on mm -hmm. Thatcher Shore. I remember the one on Thatcher mean? Shore that was, that was a, that was a big tree. Big tree, yeah. yeah. I was at that meeting. And then when the electric companies, or the power companies want to come through with their list of trees, that has to come to a hearing on 6A. Right. I did find that out. I think last time they did that was 2000. I don't ever remember them coming. 12, I think, 14, really? 12. I found all, I found some, I just uh -oh. started to look tonight and I just, I found all the paperwork. They would like, they proposed 40 something trees to come down, but. Oh, to was, come down? It was agreed Not that, just pruning? Oh no, to come down. So they, it but they agreed pruned. to 33 to come down and the other to be pruned, others to be pruned. And they have to get, the ones that were on people's property, they have to get home, homeowners permission to take them down. So it was a whole process. Yeah. And from what I understand, do you, are there trees that are tagged now on, in Barnstable, they're in tagged. In Barnstable. Yeah, there. so they're working in Barnstable right now. I don't know if they're gonna make their way back this way. Hmm. But that will be a whole process. We're running out of trees on 6A. Okay. So. All right, so that, for that. I'll probably go to the meeting myself. Um, I think I'm doing a stress test that day, but I'll survive it. <laughs> it's good the test is before the meeting. Uh -huh. I think. <laughs> well, the tree survives the stress test is a question. <laughs> good, okay. Um, I'll tell you something, in, uh, in the region, we got uh, three appeals today. Oh, we have another business item, though. You do. Yep. Oh, you know, I didn't bring the pictures. I just, I just wanted to. Uh, I, I'll put in an application. Yeah, uh, picket fence. Yeah, just a small picket fence that's like 30, 35 feet long on the front of uh, the uh, angling down to delineate the, uh, the frontage required by a subdivision of 50 feet um, between our house and 180. So
so I just wanted to make sure that I would make the application correctly. Fences On, under four feet right. can be done with an exemption application. Uh, right. I and think and we're going to apply yeah. in yeah. this case. Yeah. Oh. With I think with the, with the history of, um, I sh should. Well, I'm sitting. I'm sitting here. I shouldn't. Right. Be discussing this. So. But um, I'll, I'll be. I, if, if you come in with the exemption form with a, a plot plan, so we know exactly. I have a list of. I have a checklist of what you need. To, it's on the website. Go to frequently asked questions and go yeah. to fences I, and just follow those directions. Uh, yeah, but we'll we'll make a, a formal application. Yeah, in this that's case. what I mean. Just follow, just yeah. follow. The, all you have to do is a plot plan showing where you want the fence right, to be. I, that's I, the style of the fence. No, I understand. I yeah. did, what I didn't understand was the, the, the anything over thirty six. What, what is it? Four feet and under Four feet and is under. an exemption oh, okay. application. Yeah. Find that. yeah, and so. if the chairman feels like the rest of the members should review it, then it will. He'll just bring it, and everyone can review it to make because it's on six A. So I don't know if you would. Depends on well, it's, it's going to be. Uh, but you, acorn it, fence. But it doesn't have to. Acorn come. post. You'll really like it, Richard. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> see what it looks Are like. you carving them yourself? <laughs> or? Uh, no, I had someone do it, <laughs> actually. Good. We did build the fence ourselves in the shop, though. Mm. Wow. Nice. Okay. Anything else? Then I'll let you. We got th three appeal applications, one in Sandwich, one in Barnstable, and the other in Brewster. So we scheduled them for, I think it's the 10th, and um, we're hoping that one of them will back off, so we'll only have to address two. And their appeals for what? Um, what was the application for? One is a house. A, a barn, a barn was approved, and a neighbor felt that it was too big for the site, and so they appealed it. Mm -hmm. and, Is that uh, the Savon, the one at the Savon gas station? No. No, 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 no this, that, 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 that's in Yarmouth. This oh. one's in Brewster. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I'll get the paperwork in the next few days and um, the one in Bonstable I think it was a house that got designed and approved and a neighbor didn't like that or something so it doesn't look like any that would you know depending on what we do at the appeal uh, we always worry that it might end up in court oh. because that it gets to be expensive, protracted. And so the, the design was denied? It was, I think it was approved, and the neighbor didn't like it, similar to the Brewster oh. one. So, so I'll know more in about a week. Hmm. That's, that's something. I have one more thing. Um, I did send this out to you via email. But Mary Wagan in um, housing has asked me to, to distribute hard copies as well. But it's a survey that's being done um, to assess the needs of of housing in the community. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I did it online. Thank I, you. I did it online. Oh, as well. good. You can just pass them back. Hope you've already done them. You can give yeah. one to Bob if he wants it. Yeah. I will pass that on to her. She'll appreciate that. Okay. Great. That's all I have. I already did it. <laughs> oh, I didn't do this. I do. I, so we can do it online. Mm -hmm. Okay. The yellow piece has I did, And you said it. Hmm? it. Came from you. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, honestly, I, I, we were getting like a, so many. A hundred emails a day. I was asked. I know, and I was asked. <laughs> so here, just follow. Follow that. Survey monkey. Yep. Yeah. Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.